talking about relationships yes everything about my previous relationships and what happened I guess okay um before I start this video whoever is going to if you think that I'm too young to be talking about relationships or stuff like that just call me leave please just leave because I don't want to hear it I'm about to be 19 on the 23rd of August Virgos represent you know but um yeah I'm going to say so far. So far, I've only had two serious relationships, um, what I think is serious. The first one, um, that was, like, during my freshman year of high school, like, going into the, my sophomore, sophomore, sophomore year. He was a flirt. Like, he was a, um, he was a hoe. Like, he was a hoe. And, you know, like, I didn't really think much about it because we were friends at first we started off as friends because we had mutual friends because like back then i don't know if other states had it but i know new york it was really big on something called teams like for everybody there was different teams so i was in a certain team with my cousin and a few other people and he was in the same team and we met through like people in the team you know so and we end up we go to the same school we went to the same school so that's how i met him we were friends we were really good friends like he was a clown you know like the, the class clown everybody knew him because he was the clown of the school like i'm not even lying he, i don't know like there was i don't know i just liked him i guess like i really liked him and i told him and he told me that he liked me too so i guess that's how the little re relationship started. And, you know, like, I, I was pretty naive because it was my first relationship. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I didn't know what to expect. He was what I considered a good boyfriend at the time. Like, you know, like, we were cool. We were cool. I wasn't sexually active with him or anything like that. Like, so don't don't call me fast. Don't, because I wasn't. Um, Yeah, like... It, I don't know, I it just, it was just my boyfriend, you know, I guess it was just a title thing, like, we we didn't even kiss the first few months of our relationship, it, it was just my boyfriend. Things did not go too well, like, it didn't go too well, like, how do I explain, like, I don't know, because this, this relationship was, like, on and off, like, it, it was throughout, um, freshman year to my junior year of high school, there was always other girls coming up like like he he lied a lot like he lied and it would be about the stupidest things like i would catch him it's not even like i went searching for stuff because i wasn't even insecure like because i was so filled with all the my head was filled with all the stuff that he was telling me like oh this is my boyfriend i don't even care i don't even care it's my boyfriend you know like i was happy because i got the boy that i wanted and everybody else liked him i didn't care and then like it would be stuff on Facebook or Instagram that I would find and I'll be like, what is this? Like, what is this? And he would completely lie about it. And I'm like, like, you got caught, homeboy. Like, that is the reason why our relationship failed because he was a liar and he wasn't faithful. Like, and he would lie about not being faithful. We had mutual friends in the school. Like, even his friends would come to me sometimes and be like, yo, you see what he's doing and I'm like and now that I think about it I'm like he's a a boy like he wants stuff that I wasn't giving him and I had to let him go like I'm not gonna do it like I understand I, I get it like I'm not doing it so somebody else is throwing themselves at you you're gonna take it you know and now that I think about it like I'm pretty dumb for I was dumb as hell for staying in that relationship and you know I can't take it back because I did care about him at that time. And we we still keep in contact. Like, we're not as close as we were. But we still say, like, hi, what's up, how you been, stuff like that. But, like, I would not go back in a relationship with that guy. Because till this day, he still lies about the stupidest things. And he's just a hoe. Like, and 
I, I don't want to get myself in that messy situation, you know? Oh, and I forgot to tell you, like, the first time we broke up, because he said how we needed to take a break. Like, a break? Like, what the hell do you mean a break? We're not taking no break in this relationship. It's either we're together or we're not. And he was like, fine, I guess we're not. And I was like, shit, like, damn, like, I'm supposed to be your girlfriend. I thought you cared about me. And you just ended it just like that. Like, not even a, okay, we could try to work things out. Like, he was like, okay, well, then I guess we're not together. And I'm like, wow. And right after that, he ended up sleeping with a girl who was, quote, unquote, my friend. Like, I was pissed like I was pissed but I'm not even gonna get into that right now because stuff like that is a whole other story that I'm gonna do but back to this little boyfriend that I had he was just trouble like he was no good okay now for the second relationship that I was in um this happened during my junior year of high school yeah it was like during one of those breaks with the first boyfriend that I talked about and me and this guy met through mutual friends and um, we talked for like a few months and then he asked me one day like do you want to be my girlfriend and I was like me <laughs> I was like sure why not you know and he was a nice guy like he was really nice so that relationship you know went on and he was he was a, like a, a great boyfriend at the time like he was great but we we went on for a few months it wasn't as long as the previous relationship but we got to about six months and that's when the relationship started getting you know rocky and i was like i don't know if this is gonna last and it was one thing he did that really pissed me off and i was like you know what i don't think this is gonna last he got really drunk, he got drunk, and he called me one night, and he was cursing me out, and telling me how much of a bad girlfriend I was, and this was during the time when we were going, we had a little argument, um, he told me how much of a bad girlfriend I was, he told me how he made the wrong choice, where before he, um, before we went started going out, and he had another girl that he was talking to, and he was like, he was gonna choose, he should have chose her over me, and she would have been doing this for him that I'm not doing. And I'm just like, I'm glad you said this. Like, I am so freaking glad you told me this when you were drunk. Like, I'm glad. Because now I know the truth. The truth that you didn't want to tell me when you were sober. Like, thank you. When we got into arguments, he would talk to his exes. He would try to, um, he would try to, like, plan dates to, to meet up with his exes and tell them that he needed to hang out with them. Like, no don't do that don't do that because that will end a relationship like this like do not play with me because i can get petty on your ass like you don't want that you know like i let that slide because i was like okay you drunk i'm gonna let that slide when the relationship started getting rocky um around that time it was around his prom so he had asked me like if i could go to prom with him and i'm like i don't want to give you the wrong idea because like our relationship is like pretty much done because like you showed your ass to me several times and I can't trust you and you're a liar and I don't want to be with you anymore. And he was like, well, um, it's too late because I want to go to prom with you and I'm paying for your ticket and I don't want to take no other girl but you. And I'm like, and I felt bad because I'm like, okay, I already told him that I would go with him and I don't want to like flop last minute and not go with him to his high school prom. So I'm like, okay, I'll go. And it was just awkward. Like, we were in the limo, and his friends was in the limo. I don't know what he told his friends, because they were staring at me the whole time. The girls, the guys. And I'm just like, this is so out of my comfort zone. Because I might talk a lot when I'm on YouTube and stuff like that. You know, I'm talking to a camera. I can't really see you guys. But in person, like, I'm a really shy person. Like, I'm really shy and to myself. And when we got into the, the venue where the prom was, like... We had to sit at the table with all his friends, and they were like, oh, like, he told me so much about you, and I did this with him for you guys' anniversary. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, me and this boy is not even together anymore. And I guess he wanted to, like, show off for his friends, so he's like, you know, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. And I'm like, no, I'm not kissing you. Like, we're not even together. We're not. Ki I'm not kissing you to try to make you look cool on your prom night like no i'm not kissing you and he got pissed 
and he told me how I ruined his prom, and I'm like, that's your fault, because I told you I didn't even want to go in the first place, so I don't care. And we basically stopped talking after that, like, we stopped talking, and, you know, that summer came up, and it was awkward, because, like, we have mutual friends, like, my circle that I hang out with, um, the girls that I grew up with, their, one of their cousins is his best friend, so, like, that's how we met, and every time they would come around, like, the cousin would come around, and the cousin would bring him, and I'm just like, this is, this is awkward, you know? He told me that he was gonna continue talking to me until my feelings for him came back, and that was a sad mistake, because those feelings were not coming back. That ship sailed the time when, after that prom incident, I remember this one time, it was, um, my, I think it was my 17th birthday. It was. It was my 17th birthday. I had a get together at my house in my basement and my friends was over here and like I said, like the friends, the group of friends that I had, like they're friends with him. So we were all here and my ex, the first one that I was talking about, um, he was here with me. And like I said, that relationship was on and off. So we were talk like we were talking at the time and he was here. Okay, I don't want to confuse you guys. Okay, ex number one was here. And ex number two, now, his friend, his best friend, my friend's cousin, texted me and was like, um, we want to come to your get-together, but, like, is it okay if I bring my friend with you? With my friend with me? I'm like, um, your friend, okay. Like, not thinking. And he showed up to my house with the boy. Like, I was so pissed. Like, I was like, you know what? Why would you bring him to my house without telling me? And it was just so awkward because, like, my other ex was here, and they don't like each other because of me. Hello. Like, they don't like each other. And it was just so much tension, and I'm just like... So be and it, it was even more weird because, like, ex number two, his best friend, is friends with ex number one. So, you know, like, it, it was just mad tension. And I'm just like, you could have avoided this by leaving him home. Like, I don't know who told you to bring him... He ended up telling me how how much he hates me and how he never really loved me and how um, he cheated on me while we were in a relationship. And I'm just like, you know what, ex number two, do you, boo, because, you know, like, I'm focusing on me now. Like, I don't care. I don't care. While we were in a relationship, that was while we were in a relationship. You should have told me that then if you had the big balls that you have now to tell me after. Like, what do you want me to do? I, I don't care now. Like, I don't care now. All that shows me is that you cannot be trusted and you wanted me to get feelings for you again? No. No. Since ex number two, I have been single. Um, I haven't really been dating, you know what I mean? I've been talking to people here and there, but nothing serious where like I feel like I want to make them my boyfriend. And it's not even like a thing of trust issues because I do not have trust issues. Nobody has caught my attention lately because I'm not impressed. Like... I'm not impressed. Boys nowadays, like, they feel like once they have money and they show you that they can buy you all these fancy stuff, like, you're just supposed to fall head over heels for them. And that's not me. Like, my father has been giving me stuff that I need since I was born. Like, I don't need a guy to come in and try to be my father. Like, no, I don't need that. And when I try to tell people that, like, they be like, oh, your standards are way too high. What? Like, how can my standards be too high? I'm not asking for, you know, God. I'm just asking for someone who has something going for themselves. And I don't feel like that's too much to ask for. I just feel like if I meet you and I find you attractive and I think that we have, like, a connection, then I like you. And I'm not the type of person to, like, push a relationship. I'm not going to be like, oh, I want you to be my boyfriend. You know, like, if it if it's bound to happen, it'll happen. Like, I'll let you know how I feel about you, and I'll leave it at that, okay? Yeah, so that is this video. I just wanted to talk to you guys about my previous relationships and let you know about how I feel when it comes to relationships. And if you like this video, please thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what was the craziest thing that ever happened in a relationship with you and your significant other or a previous ex yeah. and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in one of my next videos bye i want you to be mine again baby i, I know my lifestyle is dry